You probably have coffee in your pantry, sitting on top of your kitchen counter, or somewhere in your kitchen just for the sole purpose of preparing a drink or maybe just drinking a regular coffee. Whereas you could be using coffee for so many purposes. Today, I will be showing you all how to prepare a coffee oil, of course, using coffee, and I will be adding few ingredients such as my rosemary and my cloves. But before I say anything else, I want to welcome you guys. Welcome to my returning family members. Thank you all for stopping by again. Thank you again for your support. And to you stopping here for the very first time, welcome. Please go ahead and check out the channel. If you love all things DIY for your natural hair, I'm pretty sure you're going to love it here. And if you do, please don't hesitate to smash that subscribe button. All right, y'all, let's get started. This video is kind of self-explanatory, but I'm going to try to give you a few information here and there. So I started off by measuring two teaspoons of coffee, two teaspoons of the rosemary, and one teaspoon of cloves. All right. So I have put my dry ingredients into the bowl. That bowl is safe to use on the stove top. I will be transferring this to the stove top. So make sure that you are putting the ingredients into a bowl or something that is safe to use on the stove top. So I have all of my ingredients in the bowl, the coffee, the rosemary and the oils. I'm going to transfer it and I'm doing the double boiler method. All right, y'all, it's time to do the double broiler method. I'm going to leave this here for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, we are going to proceed to the next step. So keep watching to see that, all right? It has been 45 minutes later, and that is the mixture. I'm going to move on to letting this cool down before we move to the next step, okay? I'm teasing you guys. <laughs> I want you to keep watching, okay? Show your love, show your support by watching, by liking, and by commenting. So the next step is to blend the mixture. So after infusing the oil on top of the stove, I'm going to blend the mixture to have the ingredients release its nutrients or its goodness into the oil. All right, you don't have to do this step. Just go ahead and strain the oil or you can allow it to infuse even more by putting it into a storage container and just let it sit for maybe a day or two. But I'm going to be blending it because I am very low on my DIY oils. I need one right now okay <laughs> so i'm going to blend it and then i'm going to move on to shredding the mixture All right, family, I have my blended mixture here. I'm going to go ahead and strain it using my cheesecloth. <laughs> I forgot the name of that for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I just went blank. Yeah, I'm going to use my cheesecloth to strain the mixture. You can use your stocking cap, your strainer, whatever you have. You can use it to strain your oil. All right, after straining the oil, I'm going to be adding a few more ingredients here, such as my essential oils. All right, family, it's time to add the essential oils. 
this step is optional if you don't have essential oils you don't have to add any to the oil okay the oil is powerful on its own so you can use it as is however if you do have essential oil you can use any oil of your choice i'm using the tea tree oil clove oil and the lavender oil i used about 30 drops of each oil after adding the oils into the coffee oil i'm going to go ahead and mix it very well and then i will be transferring the oil into my storage bottles i have this very potent oil to use y'all <laughs> so this is how you can make your coffee oil coffee offers so many benefits when it comes to our hair not just by ingesting it but also by applying it topically coffee can increase blood flow to the scalp and stimulate hair growth by blocking dht dht is a hormone that causes hair loss coffee also can prevent moisture loss so if you are experiencing dry hair you can use the coffee oil in addition with a coffee rinse to restore moisture back to your hair that's a pro tip family you can use the coffee oil and a coffee rinse to restore moisture back to your hair coffee also add elasticity it prevent split ends it makes the hair softer and shinier it stimulate hair follicles to promote a healthier looking hair coffee oil contains omega-6 fatty acids which are important for healthy cell function and it also has anti-inflammatory properties coffee also helps to strengthen the hair and darken the hair as well so if you have grays and you want to darken your grays you can use coffee but i will say if you have bleached hair or color hair or you just dye your hair to your favorite color <laughs> don't use coffee because it will darken your hair all right but if you want to tone down your grays the coffee is good for you so now family i'm just cleaning the bottles using alcohol after cleaning the bottles this is the oil the oil is very powerful i have the rosemary in here i talked a lot about rosemary and cloves on here so the benefits that these two ingredients offer are very powerful for our natural hair you can use the rosemary on its own you can use the cloves on its own i've done the cloves challenge here cloves are really great when it comes to hair growth and stopping hair loss all right so i use the coffee the rosemary and the cloves now i have this very powerful hair growth oil all right family that's all i have for you guys today thank you all for stopping by i really do appreciate you guys please don't forget to like comment and share and to join the family smash that subscribe button it is absolutely free have a very blessed weekend love you guys bye